Hello learners, welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Lot of grammar learning taking place. I am happy that all of you are taking part actively in the grammar activities. This is the third part of time and tense. Today we will learn how to use present perfect. So, let us begin with some examples. Before we begin, with me is Kriti and you learners of course, we will together learn present perfect tense. Kriti, let me ask you something in order to take the learners into our learning of present perfect tense and let me also tell you this lesson in grammar, time and tense is for the learners of classes 6, 7 and 8. So, let us forget that any of the any of the classes can be, I mean of course, it would be useful for higher classes also 9th and 10th, but they are in all the classes we should learn. Otherwise also as a language learner we should know a bit of grammar, time and tense. Okay. Kriti, let me ask you, uh, what did you do just before entering the room? I have just completed my writing sir. Oh, great. What did you say? Uh, I have just completed my writing sir. Oh, great. So, good. Let us see some such sentences like what she has said, I have just completed writing. So, you have completed it just now, fine. Le now, look at the following sentences, Kriti would you read out to the learners for that? Sure sir, huh. I have just come from my morning walk, fine. He has just gone to his office, fine. They have arrived just now. The dog has eaten all the food in the bowl. Have you done your work? What do these sentences mean and what do these sentences convey to us learners? She said, I have just come back from writing. He has gone to Mumbai. And when did the actions take place, Kriti? They were just taking place before this very second. Very second. So, that means just before the moment. Why we are using, we are seeing I have just come, I have just completed, he has gone, he has left for Mumbai, some such usages. So, let us see why we are using, how we are using. You said, I have just completed my writing and I have entered. I said, we have just started, some, someone asked me, when did you start this program? I have just started it, fine. Okay. We will see how this present perfect tense which refers to immediate past and many more context, many more uh, occasions we will so. Before we learn that, let us also know the objectives of this lesson. So, Kriti will read out to you the objectives of this lesson. Objectives of the lesson. At the end of this lesson, the learners will be able to understand time and tense, use present perfect tense in context. Discover the form, present perfect form and use it in speech and writing appropriately. So, objectives have been said learners. So, now let us further explore, see how present perfect tense is used. Okay, Kriti, here are some more sentences for you. You read out to the benefit of learners. Okay, sir. The first one is, please go ahead. Priya has come back from USA. Jeeva has gone to Gorakhpur. Salvin has just got his appointment order. Kriti has thrown the garbage into the dustbin now. Fine. Four, five sentences all are referring to an action which has just taken place. Okay. Let us further explore some more activities so that our learners get the point how present perfect is used. Okay. Yes, now, I am going to read out the sentences for you. You will have to fill the blanks with appropriate usages. Ravi reaches or has reached the office just now. Ravi has reached the office just now. Anita completes or has completed her work now. Anita has completed her work now. The train left or leaves or has left for Chennai. The train has left for Chennai. And just now, okay. Just now, yes. The government announced, announces or has announced new schemes for schools. Government has announced new schemes for schools. 
I read or read or have read the book? I have read the book. I have gone or I go through the document. I have gone through the document. Fine. Now, all these refer to an action, it has just taken place, yes, that sir. is present perfect. And present perfect is also used for other contexts, other occasions. Let us see some more activities, exercises, sentences we will have to do. Some more for you, so that you can get it better learners. Where does he does? Learners, some more sentences for you, so that you can get it better. How present perfect is used. Kriti? Yes, sir. Uh, we have some more sentences. Let us show to the learners. I am going to read out. This is slightly different ways of saying. Where does he does go? Where has he gone? Fine. Does you does complete the work? Did you completed the work? No. Have you completed the work? Okay. Fine. Govind write a letter to his administration. Govind has written a letter to the administration. Fine. The members dash elect him as the leader. The members elected him as the leader. Members? Just now they have elected. Members? The members have elected him as, as the leader. Very good, very good. Then the leader dash appoint Preeti as the team leader. The leader has appointed Preeti as the team leader. Fine, fine. We know how to use present perfect. What are the occasions, Kriti, you feel present perfect is used? We have seen one part of it. There are other occasions we can use present perfect. So, the foremost is to indicate completed action in the immediate past. You said, no? Yes, sir. I have just arrived. The first function of present perfect is to indicate completed action in the immediate past. So, he has just gone out. Then look at it. Second one is to express past action whose time is not given or not definite. A past action has taken place to express past action that action time is not given or indefinite, not defined. So, to express the past action and that action's time is not exact and definite. For example, have you read the book? The work you may have completed long past, immediate past. There also we can use present perfect. Have you watched the movie? Yeah, I watched it long back. You said, no, I have watched it yesterday. So, the second expression. Then third one, to describe the past events and we think that its effect is still there. India has got its freedom. It may be 70 years ago, more than 70 years, but we are enjoying the freedom. I became, people say I became uh, the manager or uh, teacher in 1999 or 2005. But something I have become teacher now. So, like the fast event have taken place, but effect is there. So, that is why when we people say, when the married people say, we have been married for 10, 20 years. So, its effect is there. He has got married long ago, but we will say it. Okay, now, the example for this, I have finished my work, I am free now. I have just, he has injured himself. So, such events also, past present perfect is used. And another thing, the, the, the marriage example is uh, much more relevant here to denote an action which took place in the past, but continuing now. For example, I have known him for years. We have lived here for 10 years. So, we have just started, but just say. Present perfect continues also, we can say I have, I have been living in this place. That is another thing, but here present perfect also we can use that way. So, these are the occasions learners. Let me ask Kriti to read out the occasions in which Present perfect is used. Come on, could you please read out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, to the learners, to the learners, yeah. The first occasion. To indicate completed action in the immediate past. Example. He has just gone out. Okay. Second occasion. To express past action whose time is not given or not definite. What is the example? 
have you read the book India Wins Freedom? Fine. I have met him. Okay. So, someone asks you, do you know him? Yeah, yeah, I have met him. You may have met him. Long ago. Uh, also and just, just now. now. Then third occasion. To describe past events and we think its effect is still there in the present. Example. I have finished my work. That means? He has just finished his work. And he is free now. And he is free now, yes. Okay. Then next example. He has injured himself. Okay. Fourth one. To denote an action started in the past at some time and continuing up to now. So, I have known him for a long time. We have lived here for 10 years. Fine. Now, learners, we need to first use present perfect, then come to discover the how it is used and the rule. So, that is what we have done. We have used present perfect tense in many occasions, then we said we found that there are four occasions to refer to we use present perfect. So, here is another task for you, so that uh, each sentence has an error, you will have to correct it. Okay, sir. Okay. Let us see uh, the first sentence which appears on your screen, he had done the work just now. What is the mistake there, error there, how will you correct it? Instead of had, there should be has. How? Say the sentence now, right? He sir? has done the work just now. Okay. It is present perfect. Then, she finished the work and is free now. So, one word is omitted. She has finished work and is free now. Okay. She has finished her work and she is free now. My teacher asked us to complete the work now. My teacher has asked us to complete the work now. Have you ever met him or had you ever met him? It would be have you ever met him. Fine. I not seen him for many days. I have not seen him for many days. So, there is an error. I have not seen him for many days. Fine. All right. Kriti, these are the sentences with the mistakes that which we, we have corrected. Learners, there are many ways we can notice language, language item like present perfect. When you read a sentence, newspaper or textbook, try to notice the grammatical form also. So, we have come to the close of this lesson, learners, part 3 of the grammar time and tense series. So, before we close, we thank you. Also, let me ask Kriti to read out the learning outcomes of this particular unit for learning grammar. Here it is. Learning outcomes of this lesson. You will be able to speak and write grammatically correct sentences for a variety of situations using noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, determiners, etc., which includes time and tense. Thank you, Griti. Dear learners, we have learned today, hopefully, I believe so, the present perfect tense, how it is used, the occasions in which present perfect tense is required to be used, many such things and also the learning outcomes of the learning present perfect tense in this lesson. Thank you very much. This is the end of part 3. We will meet in part 4, where we will do present perfect continuous. Thank you learners. Thank you, Kriti. Thank you so much, sir, for having me. Oh, thank you.